AYV News. Uh, I am Sally Fuchero Nakamara. Uh, front page comes to you at 11 a.m. from Monday to Friday, and in the program, we review and analyze stories on the front pages of our local newspapers uh, in the country. And in the studio today, I have uh, Mohammed Kamara, who is the deputy managing editor of the Watch newspaper and also editor of uh, Sankara newspaper. Good morning and welcome to uh, French Page. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Okay. And we also will be waiting for Daniel Pewa, who is a civil society uh, activist. And also, be, be reminded that the views of these, our guests, are not the views of AYV. And to start with, we'll start with our very own AYV uh, front uh, page newspaper, which is the AYV newspaper. And for those of you following us on uh, Facebook, remember, we'll, later on, we'll take your messages and thoughts. You can send them on our AYV News Facebook uh, page. And you can grab the AYV newspaper for just 2,000 leons. And on its front page, uh, it reads, with a strong media partnership on the way, AYV hosts China Media Group Africa delegation. And uh, AfriCell celebrates more than 11 years of ISO certific uh, certification. And uh, the last leading story on our AYB, uh, AYB newspaper is Dr. Blyden, Waka Fine must go back to the drawing board. That's a quote from uh, Dr. Sylvia Blyden. And from the AYB newspaper, we go to the Concord Times newspaper. And on its front page, uh, Trapatite Committee signs TOR for post election peace dialogue. And uh, EPA alerts citizens on the presence of air pollution in the country. Um, I think those are the two leading stories on the Concord Times newspaper. And uh, away from that, we go to the Calabash newspaper. And uh, on its front page, the leading story, government urged to address uh, public transport corridors restriction, restrictions amid a rising tension and deadline for obtaining biometric ID card is March 31st, 2024. And uh, First Lady inspires over 5,500 MMTU matriculants. Um, Tibet coalition arises with the new energy and the uh, higher education ministry outlines main educational uh, reforms. Those are some of the stories on the headlines of the Calabash newspaper. And away from that, we go to the uh, A to Z newspaper. Uh, on its front page, AfriCell celebrates more than 11 years of ISO certification and uh, put local district leads advocacy to end FGM practice. And the uh, UN rep commends Trapatite Committee on Sierra Leone's electoral reforms. Um, away from the A to Z newspaper, we go to the political newspaper. Uh, finished court freeze, uh, Jibril Masakoy. And uh, over 300 students get SLG. Uh, EU to support Loma Mountain Development Project, and EDSA clamps down on Diamond Lodge. Uh, from the political newspaper, uh, we go to the Global Times newspaper. Uh, 31st March deadline, national ID card is mandatory. And ECOWAS MPs honor Honorable C.D. Tunis and Fisheries Minister visit Black Johnson. Um, in South Africa, Deputy Mines Minister talks tough. And away from the Standard Times newspaper, we go to the Independent Observer newspaper. On International Day of Zero Tolerance, UNFPA and partners urge 
accelerated action to end FGM. Um, Afrocell celebrates over 11 years of ISO certification and the WACA Fine Bosses Review. Um, away from that, we go to the exclusive newspaper. Uh, on its front page, SLPP 2028, replacing President Bio, Pau Pau versus uh, Old Guards, 2025 new executive. And the uh, Trapatite Committee signs TOR. And the last uh, story there, Ambrose James excels. And uh, our last newspaper for today is the Expo Times newspaper. And uh, on its front page, shutting down Sunny Abacha Street means shutting down the economy of Sierra Leone, importer's deputy secretary. And Waka Fine Bosses, a clear look at Sierra Leone's new government-owned transportation system. And acting VC resigns. The minister acts tough to resolve university uh, crisis. So those are the leading stories uh, of the newspapers that I have today. And as I said earlier, the, with me here to discuss the uh, front pages of these uh, local newspapers, I have uh, Mohamed Kamara again, who is a deputy managing editor at the Watch newspaper and also uh, editor at the Sankara newspaper. And we'll be waiting for uh, Daniel Pewa, who will join us, but we will start the program. And uh, one of the, the leading stories here, Mohamed, is uh, the signing of the terms of reference uh, yesterday. Uh, the Trapatite Committee, the 14 man uh, person committee, who signed that document yesterday. And you were present at the press briefing at the Brookfields Hotel. So, in the first place, what is your, how, what is your view about the whole signing process and the TOR? Thank you very much. Um, we shouldn't be proud to call ourselves patriots or nationalists when we allow foreign intervention in our political affairs. Why? Something would have taxed together, together as mm -hmm. brothers mm -hmm. in the name of Pan-Africanism, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Something would have engaged, approached, engaged, discussed, and found a better solution. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. Nigeria is 100 times larger, bigger than Sierra Leone in mm -hmm. population and topography. They've never done that. Why not Sierra Leoneans? Forget about the outside world. They wouldn't solve our problems. We're best to solve it. Yesterday was an opportunity for us to witness the outcome of the first ever community that is set up in post election era mm -hmm. to solve a problem which is internal. Mm -hmm. I was fortunate enough to be part of it. Mm -hmm. And if I had got an opportunity to ask more questions, if I did not be limited, I think I'll have asked more. One thing that comes in mind, just as you read this in my views, that's correct, mm. because everybody knows what took place yesterday mm. at the Brookfields Hotel, recent electoral management uh, reforms. Well, um, Gregorio Mara says, after all the process is over in about five months' time, mm. the recommendations in question were very, uh, presented to His Excellency President Julius Madabio. And he says this should be actionar, actionable. Mm. But let me come to that. Recommendations are just mere suggestions. Okay. Okay. Before you go to uh, continue with that thought, uh, you said it's a shame that. Yeah, we should not already. Yes. So, yeah. but I, um, I, I was following up yesterday. I when uh, Lawrence Williams asked the question. He was asking a question when he came up with that, that they, that was something that the international community uh, greatly played a role uh, for, for it to happen. But uh, in his response, he said, uh, no, they are a big part of it, but they weren't the people who really suggested that. And uh, he said it was because of the uh, problems of the surrounding the elections, so they had to come in and help to that to find a solution for uh, whatever that happened that led to this committee. So now, what you are saying, it's 
Let me come on to that. Uh -huh. I've been a correspondent for East African countries, the international um, media organization, right? Okay. I do believe that it is only when a nation, the politicians of a given nation, lost the sense, the, tra the sense, the traditional, cultural, and customary integrity mm. that it will go in for international um, uh, mediation. You don't need to do that. Mm. Um, let me tell you, go back to history. More than decades past, you never had an African country which has a foreign mediation and when another election has been conducted. I wonder why. Okay. What I'm trying to say is this. Mm -hmm. It seems to me that um, things are not yet over from what we had yesterday. Yeah, why? My wife says that after the recommendations in question have been presented to His Excellency and the President of the Republic of Sierra Leone, mm. right, they should be actionable. Okay. Remember, by literary definition, recommendations are just mere suggestions. Mm. They're not forceful, right? Mm. And in Sierra Leone, the Parliament of the Republic of Sierra has amended the, 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 what we call the Presidential Act from the ceremonial president to an executive president, mm. right? Mm. With a veto power equal mm. like the President of the United States of America, mm. right? Imagine, what would be the outcome if His Excellency so decides in his own grace and wisdom that yes, I agree with the recommendation A, B, C, and disagree with the recommendation E, B, C, uh, E, F, G, H. Gentlemen, go back to the drawing board and try to think best. Okay, and but in that regard, we, we know the government is being represented by seven people, and the APC also is being represented by seven people, including uh, and the UN resident coordinator, who is also part of the, uh, who is a co-chair also, and uh, I. I heard yesterday the represent the chair for the government side, uh, Dr. Emmanuel Gaima, uh, relaying a message that the president is fully committed to supporting the process, and when with also the recommendations that will come out of uh, this. Uh, documents that have been signed that government is fully committed to implementing that. And one thing that both of them <laughs> made clear was that uh, everything that they will do is for the interest of the country, not APC or the government. Thank you very much for sort of one different question, buddy. In democratic pluralism, it is true that government has seven representatives. Mm. The opposition equality has seven representatives. That is just the protocol, mm. right? We don't know yet what the recommendations in question will be. Mm. We don't know yet where the president will say, okay, this is not uh, a, a good, uh, a, it doesn't give a good taste to my own government, so you should change it. Mm. Or it is not uh, good for future electoral um, um, elections in this country. Mm. So go and amend it again. We don't know yet. He is committed, yeah, but the results are yet to come. He is committed to it because the President of the Republic of Sierra Leone, and he has for listing to both local and international opinion. That is okay, but we don't know yet what the recommendations in question will be, how the President will think when it calls up his panel, his panel mm -hmm. to discuss about the recommendations that may be presented by the community. Mm -hmm. So we can conclude that the, co co the President's commitment mm -hmm. is a total acceptation, or he accepts totally of what would come, or 100% what would come, out of the recommendations in question. Okay. That is my own argument. Okay, so you are of the view that there must be some, uh, some of the recommendations that the president might not agree with. These are humans, right? Because you were there. These are humans, mm. right? And from 1960 up to 2023, mm. the two political parties are always at odd, mm. with, at par with each other, right? Mm. They get, they've got a lot of misunderstandings we don't have enough time to say here, right? Okay, okay. So what I'm saying from the attitudes and behavior of civilian politicians is just to know what they would come out, and these parties, are, these two pol uh, political parties are always at par, and we don't know what the other, the West will say, we don't know what the Green will say. Mm. So we have to wait and see when the recommendations in question come, we we'll look at the contents of the co recommendations in question, whether they are suitable, amicable for a, feature, a peaceful electoral system. That is why, so now we have Okay, and uh, could it be the reason why you are stressing on this? Because uh, there was a question of uh, a rerun that was posed. So what was the response by the two uh, parts of the committee, both the APC and the uh, government side? Let me make this very clear. We have to understand and spread the message 
the, the process in question is for future elections, okay. not for the 2023 elections to re run it. No, that is absolutely not the point. Okay, but um, according to when uh, Dr. Mara was reading the responsibilities that they will carry out, I think seven of them, I guess, and uh, he said that the committee yeah. will examine yeah. both past elections and also uh, will make recommendations for, if, for future uh, fair and peaceful elections. That is a very, very so it's not just about that is the, the future, but yes. even the past. That's another very good question, Ibax. Mm. Let me tell you, when did we get a credible election in this country you give as international best practice? Mm. When did we get a correct data system, probably a mini data, data system, to determine our uh, uh, examination results? Mm. Mara says they will look at 2023 elections, 2003 elections, and beyond. Okay. Right? Mm. Think about what took place beyond here. Let me tell you, I'm an analyst. I'm a, I'm a critic, right? We've gone wrong all along. So, to me, we shouldn't have repeated, we, have, we shouldn't have taken as a focus to repeat about the questions that we, the elections that were taken place, right? Mm, mm. I'll give the reasons why. Okay. In Sierra Leone, throughout all my experience in the world as a correspondent, this is the first country you have political parties with, well, uh, uh, things like, for example, the APC says, for for four ninety nine tactics, Tolongo, what does it mean in the political context? Mm. The SLP says, the APC says, SLP, the tribalistic, the, 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 quite a lot of guys that they employ are uh, tribal and whatnot, whatnot, right? Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of um, controversies between the two parties, right? Okay. What would I have suggested is, then comes again Christian autopsy says if you want to go to police, mm -hmm. right? Then come kind of again the allegations of the, the APC as against the, 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 um, um, the the, the returning officer who is appointed by President Bill. Mm -hmm. So this has been happening quite, quite a long time. So I do firmly believe that this community, if it all wants to do justice, mm. transparency to the cause they're leading in, mm. they shouldn't forget about it because there were quite, quite a lot of odds. Okay. He says 2023 elections, 2018 elections, 2012 elections, 2012 elections, 2007 elections, all these elections have a barricade of problems. Mm -hmm. So you just can't go beyond them. If you want to be transparent and go fast with your, what is being entrusted to you. Okay. Right? The, I mean, to get to, to that point, each and every election, remember, the data system, the data management, it was only the, the Kenyans that came to our risk, to our rescue, mm. to, to, I mean, to, to, to give us all this we used in the past elections. Okay, so what was the response in the area of a possible rerun? Um, that it doesn't call for. The, 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 excuse me, the dialogue, is, the committee is not about a possible rerun. That is out of it. Out of it. Mm. Now, let me tell you, we sit here not to see what they've said, mm. but to analyze what they've said for the interest of the people of Sweden mm. and the people of, uh, that, that are viewing this, our program. Mm. So I don't say, want to repeat what they say mm. yesterday. I had them say it. That was an ask question. Mm -hmm. How credible would what you say you're doing now be? Mm. How credible would it be? The public has lost trust. Let me tell you this. Mm -hmm. Topographically, Sweden is a very small nation. Mm -hmm. By population, we're a very small nation. Economically, we're poor. But what, what was the reason why we are just this way? Mm -hmm. Why can't you accept or just be constitutionally abiding mm -hmm. to avoid chaos? In the, same, in the name of civil lives and property. Okay. Why are we always like this since the post-independence uh, era? Why? And what is the best solution to stop all this? I said, why can't we use the political party regulation um, uh, um, commission to do all this? Okay. For example, it was the same political party regulation act that, so sorry, that what well, suspended political parties here from the past election, from not taking part in the past elections. Okay. They had the mandate. So why can't we give them more mandate that any political party, irrespective of who you are, right? I mean, if you contradict that act by failing to adhere by what not, what not, what the returning officer says without going to court, then you are nullified. That is all the solution. Okay. If, uh, I, if, if I am CPC party, 
and I am not satisfied with the election results. Let us respect the constitutional integrity of the judiciary. Go to the judiciary. Right? How shameful it is, beloved. Let me tell you something. I don't want to tell you this. Okay. I don't, I don't, let me tell you this. I got quite a lot of telephones from former correspondents I used to meet from Nigeria, everywhere you want to go. Hey, Mohammed, but why are you can't, why are you sleeping? You're sleeping, you've been here, you've seen this happening. Why can't you tell your people that is the right thing they should do? Mm. Why does it depend on the white man? Why does it depend on people coming down? No, these people all have diverse economic interests that we should not allow them to intervene in our own political system. Mm. The youths are coming up to take over the, the, the old stuff today, mm. right? Supposing they come and we allow short intervention in the near future, mm. they say they will just be a bo uh, 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 like, like bomber, like boomer, a buffer zone. No, we shouldn't allow that. So what you, you, you the think end? this is just a clear uh, indication that the, uh, I mean. the international world is uh, the one intervening in this matter, like they are the one who are the most uh, paramount people when it comes to I don't this. want to come into that. I'm a poor Africanist. Okay. Right? I'm a poor Africanist. I should say that. Mm. When I heard that, and when I read the history of poor Africanism, what should you do? Mm. And when I read about how we've got quite a lot of Western exploitation in our own economy, when I, when I thought of, of how. So, do you think this is just got, part of that exploitation? I, yeah, in particular reference to Sierra Leone, mm. when I got to know. The, the, the conspiracy between the West and some of our politicians to transact most of our tra financial uh, bills abroad, right? Wow, I regret it. This and you think this is part of that, that, the continuation of that conspiracy? I do. Look, let the, our intervention be in the hands of the religious and traditional forces, mm. right? Mm. In the name of our culture, mm. tradition, and customs, mm. and not outside that. It's a big slap. Mm. You don't believe it. Okay. If you meet a Tanzanian outside in New York City, they'll tell you, but hey, you sleeping. Go to Tanzania and go and see the, the bad place of Julius Nyerere. Mm -hmm. See how nationalistic the people are. Go to South Africa, the bad place of whom? Nelson Mandela. See how nationalistic the people are. We are sleeping. We are subject to the Western things. It shouldn't happen at all. We stand for our pan-Africanism, and we should ensure that between and among us, we should learn to discuss and agree with each other. Okay, you seem to have a, uh, a lot of opposing views in relation to this whole thing yes. and what's happened yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what, what do you think of uh, the uh, national peace agreement with all what you, you have said and in your view of the, the Trapatite Committee, do you think the peace agreement is going the right direction? You, you, you tell me back. You call me back here. You say, Mohammed, you said it one day now, I believe it. So what it is? I want you to go back into history mm. between the SLP and the APC. Mm. I want you to go back into history between the APC and the SLPP. Mm. Tell me where they go wrong. Tell me where they go right. Tell me which one is responsible for what, mm. right? That you come to believe that for them to get peace is not this generation, not even the next generation. Mm. Because that is, they are in a way, I mean, the politicians should think that they are committed to the people. Mm. Politicians should think that they are servants of the people. Mm. They are not masters of the people. Mm. And the people are, I mean, I'm so sorry that the moral defect in this country could not wake up the people to say no to them. Mm. They, I mean, because of financial reasons, probably they do follow them. But for me, right, I don't believe that politician is a servant of the people, right? Okay. So what do you do? Right? You tell him, hey, buddy, I don't want to hear yeah, say This is what has happened. We should believe it and let it go. Five years is enough. So yeah. this is not serving the interests of the people? To me personally, doesn't it? I'm, look, I'm a right, people call me radical or controversial, I accept. Okay. Right? Yeah. I accept it. Because I want to see changes. Changes that positively come from the African to and not from abroad. Mm. We don't need to be indoctrinated of what we should do home. No. We don't need to be told by somebody outside here mm. what we should do in our country. Mm. We should learn to love each other, love Sweden each other. Whatever happens, look, hey, but I come here, let's try to solve this problem, right? That is, you are a true Swedenian. But how long, mm. theoretically, we will be writing Swedenian, nationalism, patriotism, and whatnot. But when it comes to politics, you see the difference. Okay, so you.